Welcome to the Outer Worlds, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to get Nyoka as a companion and how to complete her quest called the Star Cross Trooper. Now remember to hit that like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Okay, so I'm going to explain everything in the beginning of the video so that you will understand what's going on throughout it. At the end of the main mission, Passage to Anywhere, you will meet Nyoka. Her first companion quest is really simple to complete. All you have to do is get her some pills from around the corner. Either you can sweet talk the lady or you can steal it from the lock supply room upstairs. I persuade the lady into selling me the pills so I left the conversation in full. This way you can check out what I said. Go back to Nyoka and give her the pills to complete the quest and accept her as your new companion. Later on she will ask to speak with you and this will start her companion quest called the Star Cross Trooper. At the 704 timestamp is her quest but like always I will explain everything now. First you will visit the grave of one of her members, afterwards talk to her. Next you will go to the Devil's Peak Summit which is part of the main mission. Clear out all the enemies and navigate your way to the broker. When you talk to him it will help to have 35 skill points into one of the three dialogue options. After you get the info the next stop is Terra 2. This part is simple, go to the location and loot the two bodies for the medallions and then talk to Nyoka. Next part is collecting three glands. I recommend activating the quest so that the markers will take you where the enemies are located. Plus having a flamethrower weapon will help melt these enemies very quickly for the glands. Afterwards talk to Nyoka again and then head back to Monarch to finish the last part. Once you enter the hive I clear the first set of enemies out before placing the glands loot the two medallions off the bodies then you want to place the gland and then defeat the queen when you defeat the queen you will unlock the harder they fall trophy slash achievement plus you will complete her companion quest line other than that i'm gonna let the video continue on if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and i will see you next time i can tell you've got one of those faces I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. Aren't you a saucy thing? I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but... With age comes experience, dearie. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. I suppose I could use the money to supply our little clinic for the rest of the town. Very well. I'll make an exception for you this one time. But let's keep this between us, dearie. Ah, the charmer! Welcome back. Great chatter business. All of the above? Someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your crew has got some sense of... Sensible... Got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stopping some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment.
Hey, got a favor to ask you. Next time we're out in the open sulfur, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, with the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra too. We never heard from them again. Think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks, and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I should have. I... I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I... I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Being as you're an outsider, 
But the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. That's the last of them. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned to idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. Aside from you. You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Get the door. You 
recovery on it. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Uh-oh. This looks bad. I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made... At least... At least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but... Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. <laughs> I'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does.
That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Fucking right we are. Whew. Here we go. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you.
You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd... I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. <laughs> 